All right, so back to the solar can heater. I'm still not done with all the cans yet. I've got to drink a few more, <laughs> about 30 more, 40. But anyway, I needed something to hold my cans even. So being the redneck I am, I just took a couple uh, sockets that were the same diameter and a couple copper pipe pipes and then I hot glued them in between and then that'll keep my cans perfectly lined up where I need them to be so I can just uh, I can butt them up to this socket just like that and I think I need eight cans per row sorry if I'm making a crappy video this is a new camera I'm not quite sure how to hold it let's see what's that one two three four five six seven eight okay then what I'll do is I'll just hot glue I hope the hot glue holds up with the the heat that's generated in the chamber but then I'll just hot glue every one of these and then roll it over and do the other side and then move on to my next uh, row of baffles basically and uh, I hope I hope it holds uh, like I said, if you guys have any uh, any advice, let me know. But uh, this is my first time, so I'm not really going all out. And I don't want to go spend a whole bunch of money if this ain't really going to work good. And, but uh, anyway, I'll be back with my next step. Okay, so I glued one deal, and this is basically what you're going to end up with. You got your holes on the bottom, holes on the top that go all the way through. And... Uh, Basically, they're going to sit in there and try to back up. I wonder if this zooms out. Okay. It's going to sit in there like that. You kind of get the idea. So I need eight rows. And then uh, there'll be a one of these one buys that go across somewhere in here with the openings for each can. And the same thing at the bottom. So... I'll be back when I got more done. Later. What's up, YouTube? This is uh, part two of my solar can space heater, and I made my first mistake. Um, well, anyway, I got the box built here. I've got all the all my tubes done, and I I used. I just went ahead and hot glued them. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know the viscosity of that hot glue. I know a couple sticks I had said. Uh, out of a different pack so that it was like 200 and some degrees sorry about the wind it's awfully windy out here today but i think it'll work if i put if i make my other little manifold here and put it up tight to where even if the glue gets soft it's holding the cans but my mistake is that i didn't have enough room inside my box to fit nine rows of cans so i had to do eight but as you can see, I forgot to cut cut the uh, backboard small enough to hold these in. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. Because I need them. I need these things held, you know, pretty snug so I know how to mark out my manifold on here. But uh, anyway, and I'm also using, I have this stuff. I used to build houses. And uh, it goes under your floor, under your uh, wall plates for two by six walls and uh, it's been laying around forever so I thought I'd go ahead and use that on the back I might go ahead and spray paint it black too and do the whole the whole box black but anyway I'll be back uh, when I figure out my dilemma later okay so I'm getting it done I've got my cans mounted in there I decided to just go ahead and leave that space and I'll just paint everything black in there and uh, this was the really fun part is cutting those with a real dull uh, hole saw. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to paint it and try to get some or try to get it finished today. And then uh, if not, they'll, I guess there'll be a part three and I'll show you how it works. Bye. Later. See ya. Okay, so I finished it up somewhat. I got to figure out a different way to for the front. And I doubled up the plastic. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Let me show you here. I've got a thermometer in here. It was at 60 degrees. I don't know if 
if you can see it. Now it's at 80, literally within like minutes. But anyway, I'll let you know here in about 20 minutes what it does. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure something out instead of using the plastic because it's came loose already. But I did put my thermometer in there just a couple minutes ago and it was at 60 and now it's almost 100 degrees coming out of that hole. So I guess I'll have to find some plexiglass or something. We're kind of losing sunlight too. But uh, I don't know if you can see. I should have rinsed those cans out and let them dry. But you see all the moisture in there. But anyway, so if you guys... Uh, want to make one of these I suggested it's it's fun it's a little more work than what I thought it would be but um, I don't know I might make me another one but next time a lot better so anyway thanks for watching later all right I'm back I made some changes I took the plastic off I didn't like it it only got up to about 100 degrees so I had a couple little storm windows like that that I used they fit almost perfectly width wise and then I just uh, lay down some <coughs> silicone under them but I don't have a glass cutter so I just overlapped them and then cocked in that side and then painted it black definitely redneck but I think it'll uh, get a lot more heat in it so anyway we don't have no more sun but I'll try to get back and tell you uh, how hot it, how hot it gets now so, peace